Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, I would demonstrate how could you put parabolic velocity profile at the inlet for a transient laminar pipe flow problem. It's a laminar pipe flow problem, the inlet velocity profile is parabolic, and it varies with respect to time. You need to find out the time versus inlet velocity graph. Simulate the problem using the named expressions option in ANSI's Fluent. Before proceeding let's know what would you learn from this tutorial video. First of all, if you are a beginner, then you would learn how to create a 3D pipe geometry using the primitive option in the ANSI's design modeler. In the meshing, you would observe how to put the sweep meshing method in meshing. In the fluent setup, we would see how to create the named expressions for a transient pipe flow problem. We would also see how to set up the flow time versus velocity average graph. You can also learn how to save the image file of the graph for future purposes. Please subscribe to our channel for more tutorial videos. Drag the fluid flow fluent into the project schematic space. Now, right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Go to units and select millimeter. Go to create menu and select primitives, then select cylinder. In the details table, enter the length of the cylinder in the z-axis component as it is extruded along the z-direction. Enter the radius of the cylinder. Click on Generate. Geometry is complete. Close the design modeler and proceed for meshing. Right click on mesh and select insert, then select method. In the geometry box, select the geometry and click on apply. In the methods, drop down list select the sweep method. In the algorithm select axisymmetric. Enter the number of O grid divisions as 10. This algorithm option is only available in some latest versions, so if you are using older versions you can watch our tutorial on how to create O grid mesh using splitting. Right click on mesh and click on generate. Go to Details of Mesh, select Sizing. Turn on the Adaptive Sizing option. Put the resolution as 5. Right click on Mesh and click on Generate. Now we would put the name tag to various boundary conditions. Right click on the boundary and select create name selection. Make sure that the inlet boundary surface should be at the origin side.
Mesh is complete, right click on Mesh and select Update. It would link the meshed cell with the solver. Close the meshing and proceed for solver setup in ANSI's Fluent. Check the mesh, make sure that the minimum volume should not be negative. Check the quality of the mesh. Select the transient option. Go to models and select the laminar flow model. Keep the default fluid material. Now we would create the named expressions required for the parabolic velocity profile. For this, click on the named expression. Put the name radius with uppercase R written. This is for the radius of the pipe. In the definition box enter the expression square root of inlet area divided by pi. Make sure that what is the name of the inlet boundary should be written in between the inverted comma. The next expression is the local radial coordinate, in this put the same name radius to it, with lowercase r. As in this tutorial, the pipe length is along z-axis, so there is square of x and square of y. If you want your geometry to be extruded in any other direction, then you need to change the variables accordingly. Put a named expression for maximum velocity that is umax and the value is 0.1 meters per second. Put another named expression name it as omega, it's the frequency of the sinusoidal velocity cycle.
Now put the named expression for parabolic velocity profile. Now finally put the expression for time varying parabolic velocity profile. Go to boundary conditions open the inlet boundary. In the velocity magnitude box selects the named expression option. In that box enter the named expression umax transient. Click on OK. Go to the Monitor tab and select Report Plots. Click on New. In the x-axis keep the default flow time as the variable. And for the y-axis click on the New dot then select Surface Report. Select Area Weighted Average. Put the velocity as the field variable. Select Inlet as the surface. Click on OK. Select Window 2 as the plot window. Select Print to console to save the data of the plot. Click on OK. Go to Initialization, select Standard Initialization, select Compute from All Zones, then click on Initialize. Click on the Run Calculation option. Put the number of time steps as 500. Put the time step size as 0.01. So the total time would be 5 seconds, which is the cycle time as given in the Omega expression. Click on Calculate. To save the plot image, go to the file menu and select save the picture. Unselect the use window resolution option. Enter the custom size for the image file. Then click on save.
it would ask for the file location. Select the file location and click on OK. Close the Fluent Solver and proceed for CFD post processing. Go to the Insert menu and insert the velocity vector. Select the location as the inlet and click on Apply. We can see the velocity vector profile at the inlet is parabolic in nature. Create a plane at the center of the pipe. Get the contour at the inlet, outlet, and middle plane. Go to the location menu and insert a line. Put the coordinate of the line. Inset a new chart and put the velocity as the variable on the y-axis and y-length on x-axis. Generate the chart. We can see the velocity plot at the inlet is parabolic. Save the plot and close. With this let's conclude this demonstration. Hope you had learned something new today. If you like this video please hit the like button. Comment below if you find the video helpful. If you are new to our channel then please subscribe. Thank you. Stay healthy stay safe.